Hey everybody, my name is Sarah Lean and welcome to my latest video. In this video, I want to talk to you about Azure Bicep and explain a bit about it, understand the benefits and then look at when it is the right tool and when it isn't the right tool to use within your environment. Now looking to the very basics of what Azure Bicep is, it is a tool or a language that can be used to deploy your Azure resources. Now Azure Bicep builds on some existing tool sets, so the resource manager template language that we already use within Azure, but it aims to be a lot easier and a lot more straightforward to learn than say Azure ARM templates have been in the past. And that has been one of the biggest bugbears from the end users and the community around Azure ARM templates. Now, Azure Bicep is a first party product from Microsoft, but it is 100% free. So there's no charge for you using it. And it's also open source. So you can go and grab the source code from GitHub and contribute to it and add in features and help the team build on this tool set. So in terms of that, it's great to see that Microsoft are leaning more towards the open source community with some of their tools. In terms of what Azure Bicep brings to you and why you would potentially want to use it within your environment to try and um, you deploy resources, it is much easier and much simpler when we compare it to Azure ARM templates. It's also sometimes simpler and more easier to understand than maybe a third party tooling as well. Again, depending on your background, whether you're potentially a developer or in the IT pro camp and you have some coding experience. Also with Azure Bicep, they have focused around making it very modular. So if you have some Bicep code, some template that you have written and worked quite hard on um, creating, then you can help use that again in other templates and other deployments and share that either internally within your team or wider with the entire community as well. So the modularity and be able to reuse code as much is very much there with Azure Bicep. Now, building on what they've done with the actual tool, they've also looked at third party experiences. So when you're authoring those templates and building up your Azure Bicep portfolio, the team have really worked on using Visual Studio Code and making it first class for you as an author of Bicep templates. There's great IntelliSense built into the extension that you can install inside Visual Studio Code. There's also validation and there's a visualization tool as well. So there's a lot of great experiences of creating Azure Bicep templates when you combine it with using Visual Studio Code. Now, if you are someone who has already spent a lot of time and effort learning Azure ARM templates and have a great resource of them um, somewhere stored for use, then you can actually start to um, convert those ARM templates to Bicep templates. So the team are saying, if you have ARM templates, please try and convert them into Bicep templates if you want. You don't have to scrap all of the work you've done with Azure ARM templates. You can actually take all of that work and convert it into Bicep templates quite easily with a single command line. So when you're looking to introduce an infrastructure as code tool into your environment, it can often be tricky trying to pick the right tool for your use. What I always say to customers is figure out what you need from a tool and then try and match it to one that is already out there in the market. Don't necessarily go for the one that you've seen um, at a conference or you've seen the most material about. It might not be the one that suits your needs. When we look at Azure Bicep, it is the right tool if you're looking for something that is fully supported by Microsoft. So if you're using Azure Bicep, if you're in that Azure space and you had an issue with a Bicep template or a deployment, you can actually log a ticket with Microsoft support and, and speak to them and they can help support you. So you have that supportability built into this tool. You can reach out and ask for some assistance if you needed that. Also, it's great from being able to support new features. So the team have worked hard with other teams as well to ensure that any new Azure products, any new features are supported by Bicep from day one. So rather than having to wait for it to filter through into potentially a third party tool, um, that support from day one of that new Azure feature or product should be there for Bicep as well. So you can start to use that and start to deploy that with Azure Bicep. You don't have to suddenly do another type of deployment to be able to support that new um, product or feature. So you have that Azure um, native support built into Azure Bicep. But when is it not the right tool? You don't necessarily have to change if you have made a significant investment financially and knowledge base wise 
in an existing tool, you can continue to use that. Also, unfortunately, Azure Bicep isn't supported by other cloud providers or Azure Bicep doesn't support deploying to other cloud providers. It's only to for deploying to Azure, depending on how you look at it. So if you are a multi-cloud environment, then Azure Bicep might not necessarily be in the right infrastructure or template code um, language for you. So it's clear, again, as I said, to think about what you need from a tool and then pick the right one out on the market for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do smash that like button if you have and consider hitting subscribe button and I'll hopefully catch you in another video.